It's time to lighten the load of Ever Forward, and it's fascinating to watch. They actively have two cranes working on the port side of the ship, lifting containers off. The Coast Guard calls the work on the grounded ship inherently dangerous and says the containers will be removed along the length of it to keep the ship balanced as it is lightened. It looks like they have two men rappelling down each side on top of the container to hook up the lifting bracket. Um, and then once it's hooked up, they're lifting back up and so the crane can lift the container and put it onto the barge. We came back out on Monday morning with Captain Caitlin Bees from our sister company, the Annapolis School of Seamanship. We have to keep our distance, but you can see the yellow bracket on top, which grabs the containers. It's not a long process to get one container lifted off. I'm quite surprised. They're able to move pretty quickly. This Costco container did give the crew some trouble. It was lifted and put back several times. Those containers are placed on a barge and taken back to the Port of Baltimore where they came from before the ship ran aground just outside of the channel on March 13th. The Coast Guard says more than 40 containers came off over the weekend. Work started Saturday afternoon. I've seen some pretty interesting things on the bay. But this is, yeah, this is the big story. Bay photographer David Seitz invited us along for his watch party on day one, but the work started later than planned. And he's so close to the channel. It's just like hard to believe they can't dig that one section of the channel out. They've been digging for several weeks now, and two attempts to pull it out with tugboats were not successful. We spotted dredging happening in the channel about a few miles south of the ship. There's another barge that has chains on it, and the two chains are hooked to those two yellow balls way out there, right? And it looks like the chains have some kind of movement because there's water coming off of them. The same setup was in place on Monday morning. Bay boater Diane Sullivan says the conditions over the past month may be working against them. The Chesapeake Bay has a very soft and muddy uh, bottom and we've had a lot of wind and a lot of waves and weather here recently. So I'm sure that that has been working at cross purposes with the efforts to get the tanker moved. The Coast Guard tells us they'll be removing at least 500 containers over several days. And then another attempt to pull the 1100 foot ship will be scheduled. And I think it's an unfortunate situation, but every once in a while, Accidents do happen, and it's certainly given us something to look at and talk about. We still don't know how it happened and who's to blame, but one thing we can agree on, the grounded ship is something to see. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.